Right, let me just explain something about career paths and why a lot of young men go wrong. Now, the you hit me up the other day. You just land road and hit me up on Instagram, innit? And you lot, anytime anyone got any questions and that, hit me up on Instagram. I'll get back to you. I'll respond to you. And I'm not like one of these guys that get me leave man on red or don't answer man's questions and that. I've always got an answer for a question. If I ain't got an answer, I will do some research or something. I'll come back to you, innit? And that's just me, innit? So the Ute Land Road, come out of jail recently, hit me up on Instagram and that. So we're talking, going back and forth and that. I was asking him about the prison that he was in because I was there but quite back in the day, 10, 11 years ago and that. And um, he said, yeah, he's got a similar mindset to me and he basically wants to jump on the electrical thing. And I had to cut him right there, you know. Obviously, we're sending voice notes and that, but I had to let him know that blood. Becoming a tradesperson, becoming an electrician or a gas engineer is not a thing, my brother. It's a career path. You need to make a conscious decision to get educated for three, four years and become an electrician or a gas engineer or whatever, an accountant, whatever in it. It is not a thing that you just jump on because what's going to happen is you're going to jump on this thing and you might not like the job. It might not work out the way it's going to go. Or it might not be what you thought it was going to be and you're going to drop out. Let me tell you something right now, yeah? If you have the conscious decision to want to become an electrician, you need to take this thing seriously. It is not just a thing. It, it, this is not uh, working for Sky for six months, shadowing a man, working for Virgin Media, working for all old glass. You're going to need to put in serious hours in the classroom, outside the classroom. You're going to need to work for pretty much nothing, i.e. an apprenticeship and that. This is not just something that you just jump on. And that, and that's the reason why a lot of young people will drop out of electrical studies and plumbing and gas engineering courses and that. Because they just think, it, oh yeah, I'm just going to jump on this. No. Because when you have that mindset, you're expecting to get results straight away. You ain't going to get no results straight away being an electrician and that. It takes time. See him, man. And obviously, I don't know what the course structure is nowadays. I know obviously you always got the normal standard long courses and that, but now they're offering some short courses. Become electrician in nine months, a year. Nah, nah, you're gonna be you need to be willing to put in long hours and a couple of years, three years into this into this course. I don't want to use the word ting because obviously it might get misconstrued and that. But do not think for one minute you're just gonna, oh, I'm just gonna jump on the electrical. No, 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 no. Nah, when you commit to the electrical thing, when you commit to the electrical course, this has to be a life decision, yeah? I'm not saying you're going to be an electrician for the rest of your life. You can progress. But when you commit to the electrical course, that's exactly what you're doing. You're committing to it. It's not, oh, yeah, I'm just going to feel it out for a couple of months. and You ain't got time to waste. Remember, when you become, when you turn 19 and that, unless something's changed, someone caught me. Um, someone, someone, let me know in the comment section if I'm wrong. When you turn 19, I think after 19, so when you're 20 and that, you no longer have free education. Now I don't know how old the you is, but I know he's young and that, isn't it? So maybe he might be lucky enough to still get free education. And even if he's over the age where he gets free education and that, he can get maybe some sort of grant from the job center. If you get a, an apprenticeship, they'll be able to pay for your course and that. Um. But yeah, this is not just something that you just jump on. This is the reason why I've met plenty of men. I know a man in college, they done carpentry, then they done sports science, then they done try to do a, uh, an accounting course and that. And now they're just working bullshit jobs. Cause in their head, oh, I'm just gonna see what I'm just gonna see how it goes and that. Nah. Nah man. Stick to it. Be focused, be disciplined and that. Sometimes you gotta do things that you don't like. I exercise this every other day. I go running every other day. I went running today. So I went running today. Tomorrow's my day off. Then the next day I'm going running. I hate fucking running. But you know what? You've got to do things that you don't like. You've got to train yourself to do things that you don't like. So that when things, other things that come along in your life that you don't like, you know, well, this is nothing. I'm used to doing things I don't like. I fucking hate running. I never get up in the morning thinking, yeah, man, I'm going to go running now. Nope. The only time I maybe kind of look forward to going running, I get a new pair of trainers. Yeah, boom, let me test out the kicks five minutes into the run. I want to turn back home. I hate running. 
I hate running, man. But you gotta be disciplined, man. You gotta be willing to work for pretty much nothing. Yeah, man, this is no joke. This is not just, ah, oh, yeah, I'm just going to jump on a, a job thing. I'm just going to jump on an electrical thing. Nah, fam, it's not a thing you just jump on. Like I said, you'll be working for pretty much nothing, but one day, you'll be earning a good wage. Me, earn about £300 a day, give or take. Um, And it's just easy to be able to save up for a property. You save up for a property, you, you, you earn enough money. You're smart with your finances and that. You don't spend money stupidly. It's easy to save up for a property when you're on a decent wage. Yeah, man, that's about it. That's about it, man. This this, this, this has to be a conscious decision. This is not no joke thing. This is not spare the moment. Oh, yeah, I just jump on an electrical thing. You know how much man I know who are big man, 45, 50 years old? I meet them at work. I know them, family. Family, fr friends of family and that. Oh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, when I was 16, you know, I did actually go to college and enroll for electrical course. And then they dropped out. Man's working in a t ticket office. Man's driving a lorry and that. You could have been working a job that's more respectable, earning more money. Yeah, man, what do I? Yeah, lorry drivers get, um, earn, earn a decent wage and that. But sometimes, you know what? Sometimes you just want to have a career that you're proud of, you know? I made that video and I made a, a second version of it women want a man that they can be proud of and that there are women out here that won't want to date a man just because he's a lorry driver unfortunately certain women they have decent jobs at they're an accountant whatever and they will get around their friends that are in the similar you know what i'm saying in it yeah like bracket of work similar sort of work and that and they might not want to disclose oh my partner's a lorry driver and that even if he earns a good wage and that yeah, it's shallow, but unfortunately, yeah, this is the world we live in and that. You want people to be proud of you. Come on, man. How dare... Come on, fam. You don't want to grow up and born born in this country. Grow up in this country, the land of opportunity and that, and just drive a lorry. What was the point of going to school in the first place? So you went to school from the age of, what, five years old to 16 years old, possibly went to college, to then just drive a lorry. So what did you? What was the point of doing all that learning? You may as well have just learned how to count and spell for a whole year, and that's it. And then go and, and become a lorry driver. All the foreigners and that come over to this country, things is bad where they're from. But you know what? They want their children to go to university and get education and that because they want their children to have a high-paying job. And for two, they want to be proud of their children. No girl in their right mind is going to be proud of their partner. For being a lorry driver. They might be proud of the man that he is. But they're not going to be excited to, to tell that their part of their friends and that their counterparts. Oh, yeah, my partner's a lorry driver. No way. No way. Yeah, maybe some low class gal. But you shouldn't be dealing with low class gal. You should be dealing with educated gal. Anyway. Electrical is not just a thing you jump on. Yeah, this is a, a, a conscious, serious decision you need to make because you're going to need to put in some hours, make some sacrifice and that. So that's it for today, man. Stay wise. Done now.